All right, y'all, bring in another video. This is Patek Philippe 5168G, green Aquanaut, 42 millimeters, brought to you by the man himself that supplied it to me, Killing Time Watch Company. Giving him a shout out because I always use him. He's amazing. There's not many people that I trust in the watch community. And Killing Time Watch Company hooks it up every time, gets me a good deal. I trust him. There's not many people that I do trust, especially with high-end watches. So give him a shout out. He'll find you what you want. He'll give you the best deal. He's not there to make huge amounts of money. Probably flips on volume. So, and he tries to help people out. So give him, uh, give him a shout Kill, at Killing Time Watch Company. And he has an Instagram. He'll reach out to you. He's very responsive. I'm going to jump right into it. Just got this. Haven't opened it yet. Let's take a look. There you go. You got the smooth velvet. Oh. Now this wood grain right here is something special in itself. It's not even the freaking watch. And I get amazed by every time I just see the workmanship and the build of Patek Philippe. I mean, Rolex is cool. It's got the green, like whatever material box that is. But this is freaking wood grain. I mean, look at this. You can already tell when you're about to open the thing that you're not gonna get anything cheap inside. This is elite. I'm talking about elite. Look at this wood grain. I mean, how many boxes do you get of something that have this freaking, this box like this, wood grain, with the emblem like this? I mean, it's just top tier quality all the way around. So I'll set it down right here. Of course, comes with full set. I've got a full set here. The booklet, papers, even the envelope. So let's put that aside. Let's open this baby up. There you go. Oh, look at that. This is a minty fresh uncut strap. Oh yeah. Holy mother. Look at this watch. I mean, it's still got the wrapping on it. I'll go ahead and take the wrapping off for y'all so y'all can see this beauty in clear picture because y'all deserve this. I mean, look at the green. It's like an army green. It's like a matte green. It's just special. I mean, it's not some tacky green. It's just a nice quality green. The, the dial is a green. Look at that. Let's clean this little baby off. I mean, check that out. Look at that. Uncut strap. Beautiful movement inside. Patek Philippe. It's even got the stickers on the clasp. New buckle. White gold. With... An original strap. I mean, it's, hef it's hefty, but it's light at the same time. Of course, I'm going to size it to myself, but it's just classic. It's not too gaudy. It's pretty understated. It's simple. It's elegant. It's sporty. I mean, you can use every word in the book to describe this. Expensive, yes, that too. Awesome, elite. I mean, it's Patek, you know. I mean, you can't, I mean, look at the globe, look at the globe like dial, the Aquanaut dial. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Yeah, there's the blue version of this. I prefer the green, green's my favorite color. It's not for every wrist. If you have super skinny wrists, it's not gonna work on you. I mean, I think on me, it works pretty good. It's not too bad. It, it fits pretty good. The strap is very thin like, so it's gonna mold to my wrist as I wear it. It doesn't look too big. I mean, the case, if, as you can see, the case doesn't even like go over my wrist. It's not hanging over my wrist, so it's, this is good. Like My wrist is like a 6.75, so if that gives you a little idea of how big the watch is on a 6.75 inch wrist, uh, mine fluctuates with working out and not, but not by too much. Either way, I like it. I've had the regular 5167As, the 40 millimeter, the black, the rose gold. I've had the 5167R, which is the rose, and the 5167A, which is the black with the black dial. I've had both of those. I love green, I miss green every time. I've gotten rid of those for the green twice. Always came back to the green, missed the green. It's my favorite color, it's not for everyone, but 
I love, I'm very pro-military and I'm very pro-green. So both of those combined, and plus it's very sporty. I like hiking, I like the mountains, I like the trees. So this is kind of like, hits all the, hits all the buttons for me, checks all the boxes. I just love it. I mean, it's beautiful. Shout out to Killing Time Watch Company. I mean, this is amazing. And it's not too hard to change out the strap. You just gotta cut it to the size you want. Go one notch at a time. If you don't already know where you're supposed to cut, you go one notch at a time. It's better than cutting it up. Because once you cut too much, you're done, Ski. You gotta buy a new strap. It's like five, 600 bucks, or if not more. But I, you just go one at a time. That's the way I did it until I found out the right length for me. One strap at a time. Put the buckle on. Yeah, it's tedious, but it's better than dishing out another six, seven hundred dollars or whatever it is. So I already know what strap, what size I need for each side of my wrist because obviously the 12 o'clock side of your wrist is always going to be bigger. Some people, they like it even on both sides, which is fine. Doesn't matter. But I mean, I, it's really pretty easy to, to change this buckle. Now, if you need to change this part out, you might want to get a professional to do it because um, you need the clasp, the tool that pinches the uh, spring bars and opens it up and takes it out. This part really isn't too bad. You can use like a toothpick, which I use, so it doesn't scratch. I, I use a toothpick because it's wood and it's not metal, so it doesn't really scratch. Um, but this is white gold. It's beautiful. It's like literally one of my, if I could choose three of my favorite watches, if I could choose three of my favorite watches, I would choose this, one of the maybe Daytona Oyster Flex and Pepsi Meteorite Rolex. I love them. I love them. Also, I really like the 5711 version, the all metal version of, of the Patek. However, it's a lot of silver, a lot of stainless steel. So you got to pick which precious metal, which color you like that fits best for your skin and go from there too. But like I said, Killing Time Watch Company. I mean, he's got cool shirts. Um, you can buy one, rep one. I'm sure he'll sell you one super cheap, but they're awesome soft t-shirts. It's got a cool, cool logo on it. He did awesome with the logo. I mean, it's really cool. Look at that. Killing time. Buy, sell, consign luxury watches at Killing Time Watch Company. Give him a shout. I mean, the guy is super, super cool, super chill, super down to earth. I mean, he's one of the best in the business. I've dealt with a few. I won't deal with any more than a few, but Killing Time is one that I that I tend to gravitate to and I trust the most out of most of the people I've dealt with. So he's uh, he's in Arizona, Scottsdale. Um, can't wait to uh, to hook up with him, grab a beer. Super nice guy. But here you go. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, hope y'all learned something from this video. And good luck uh, to any watch that you choose. You can't go wrong with anything. It's all personal preference. It doesn't really matter. I just like what I like. People like what they like. You just got to go with what you like and makes you feel good. That's really what matters the most. Thank y'all. See you later.